Here's a simple technique for making a two-dimensional sketch look three-dimensional by using light and dark lines and light and dark shading. I'm loosely laying down a block of dark grey marker pen. I could just use dark grey paper, but the streaky nature of the marker pen can help to represent a soft but reflective material, such as that often used in electronics equipment. Assuming that there's a light source somewhere above my sketch, it's going to hit each of the features that I'm drawing, such as buttons and switches. I'm drawing white lines on edges that would catch the light, and I'm drawing black lines on edges that would cast shadows. A white line at the top edge of a feature suggests it steps out of the page. A black line at the top edge of a feature suggests that it sits back into the page. I'm using a circle template to draw my circles quickly and accurately and you'll notice that I'm positioning the template and holding it firmly in place while I draw firstly with one pencil and then the next. So each circle has a mix of white and black pencil and each line will be either white or black. The button looks like it stands out of the page because the white lines are towards the top of the feature. The track that the button sits in looks like it sits back into the page because the lines at the top are black. So I'm adding some shading to help represent two things. Firstly, to add shape to the buttons and switches, and secondly, to represent shadow, since the buttons and switches all cast shadows. You'll notice that I'm turning the paper around a lot. This is so that I can shade comfortably. Most white pencils don't show up very well on dark paper. This particular one has a chalky texture which bites as it runs across the surface of the paper, leaving a clear line behind. Most others tend to have a slight waxy feel, and these don't work quite so well for the bright lines, though they do for shading, since they make a more subtle mark. You'll find links in the description below to all the equipment I'm using in the video.
Here I'm drawing a rocker switch. The mix of white and black lines and white and black shading give the three-dimensional effect that I'm trying to achieve. In particular, the shading underneath the toggle switch helps to show the shape of the feature. This process works because of the light, medium and dark tones on the page. The mid-tone of the marker pen is the basis for the sketch. I'm sketching a button here using the same process. By drawing a continuous circle in black, I'm suggesting that the button neither stands up or sits back into the page. Instead, it's level. The button itself has a highlight all around the edge and I'm using shading to make it appear concave. This feature is a rotating volume control. The larger shadow makes it appear to stand out further from the page than the other features. And finally, I'll add a little white paint to represent light being reflected by the features of my sketch. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe and remember to hit the notifications tab for lots more. As always, you can see what's going on behind the scenes on Instagram at Product Designer Maker, and you'll find lots of downloadable resources at www.productdesignermaker.com. Thanks for watching.